Hey, I'm Jocelyn and this is Sandra and today we are going to make for you um, an old fashioned, which actually seems really straightforward, but as you look these things up and you read about it, an old fashioned is actually, there's a little controversy in how to make one of these. I always make mine with a cherry and I actually muddle my cherry in orange, but Sandra does not. Um, and actually she doesn't eat, you don't always put a cherry in it, do you? I don't ever put a cherry you in it. just do the orange. So um, we're putting a cherry in because mama loves the cherries. Um, and I want to talk to you about the sugar and water. Typically they say a half a teaspoon of sugar and what, like an, a, a teaspoon or so? The same amount of water. Of water, okay. Um, <clears throat> but because we're going to use simple syrup, we're just going to use half a teaspoon total. Um, because it's already a one-to-one -one ratio when you're making simple syrup, which you can catch in a different episode. So um, I'm just going to let you go ahead and do this, and I'm going to relax about the fact that we're not going to muddle my cherry and orange. Okay. Okay. It'll be okay. All right. <laughs> so this is a simple drink. Uh, we're just going to take a half a teaspoon, so not much sugar. Don't need a ton of sugar because bourbon's already pretty sweet. It is. And I feel like you don't really need a ton of that. I don't. It's just my life. And then bitters. Bitters, Angostura bitters, which um, are, again, bitters are specific. So and go ahead and use this type and uh, not pay shows or any of the other. And I'm just gonna put three good, good, good shakes dashes. in there. Yeah. Two ounces of our bourbon. And this is a, it's a pretty strong. It's a mm. bourbon drink. So good. But I'm a bourbon lover, so there's that. It's old fashioned. Yeah. So part of why it's called an old fashioned, the Chicago Tribune. Here's a bit of history. Is actually the one that coined the term old fashioned because they had fallen out of style and they started, people started ordering, I want that old fashioned drink. And so that's when it became known as the old fashioned. Shake her up, put her up, put her up, I don't actually need that. I'm just, no, I'm just sitting there. You know, I think I grabbed it because I muddle in this um, and I pour and then I pour it over ice. So again, two different people with the same, with the same drink. So I'm just putting enough ice to, <clears> to fill the, the liquid, right? Exactly. Right. I am going to go ahead and rim my glass with a nice fat piece of orange yeah. peel and I'm going to twist it in there to release those oils in. I wish so you could good. see that little I know, I just saw the little it happens. It's pretty. And for Jocelyn, I'm going to drop in a cherry, <laughs> even though I would not do that myself. Uh, if you like cherries also, you should have one. You should absolutely have one because like we always say, the cherry at the end is dessert in the glass. So, cheers to you. You know, it's really not that bad with it not muddled. I still like it muddled more. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good drink um, and it's old fashioned. So we should all embrace our history and drink a couple of these this weekend. And um, so, cheers. cheers. We'll see you next Friday. Bye. Bye.